Knuckles. Right, I'll give you instructions in the dressing room. I just want you to remember, listen to my instructions at all times. All right, keep the fight nice and clean. It's for the world IBF title, and it's pretty good, mate. IBO, come on, let's go. Oh. And uh, that, Glenn, will be the first riddle that the Frenchman needs to solve. About uh, a week and a half ago, uh, now used to the weather. Hey, stop! Hey, also, he showed us during the open workout the speed in his hands. Uh, that left hand uh, can throw a jab and a hook so fast that I think the uh, corner of Michael Gasparinas is wary about that. On the, the front foot and so he's cagey, he six shots from different angles. But he's got to be aware of the big punch in southpaw. That's, oh. That's it. That's this off. is a good mix up of boxer, puncher, classic. It's going to be an explosive fight. Just Moranis is just uh, trying to get his right leg on the outside, short the distance for his left hand. So, where she is very much aware of that, digging the right hand to the solar flex of the Filipino fighter. Actually, both of them, even Gwerf is trying to get that left foot uh, outside that right foot of, uh, of Dustin Moranis. Very basic uh, South Pole versus Orthodox uh, strategy. There's usually a little bit of uh, awkwardness in an orthodox versus southpaw fight as they they try to find the range especially when you have good boxers with technical ability like we have here but i'm a little surprised that it's worth it he's got the you know, he's looking to take the fight to dust marinas he's launching lead right hands there one thing that southpaws are typically pretty good at is getting out of the way of lead right hands usually the lead hand battle that determines who gains dominance. Nice combination there from Dust Marinas as he came off the right. With good defense as well, Mike. He had his hands right up and he caught arms there. Yeah, but as we talked about uh, prior to the coverage, again, you know, we talked about the hand speed and the business of, uh, of gravity. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now yeah. early in this fight. Good defense, man. Again, he's got that, uh, that hands up. Doesn't mean it's not getting through with anything. He's very, very focused and he's got a nice little right hand catch and just bring us coming out of the clinch. Yeah, he's looking very capable. Guerfi. A good start Ten in the round for me, for the Frenchman. He's also cutting off Dust Marinus. Oh! He's and no! Really you basically showed this guy staying away. Hang on, moving, stop. Uh, Round two. Jabbing, Time. But now he's bringing the fight to the spring. He's cutting the distance uh, against Box. his power puncher. <clears throat> well, first round of 12. It's a long way to go. It's not a sprint. It is a marathon. Lead right hand there from the Frenchman. Again, several lead right hands working upstairs and downstairs. As Marinas trying to set his feet, throw bombs. Back uh, with Jack Marinos, who has got to try and upset the form and the rhythm of Guerfi. Something that we were looking to see in that last bout, changing the rhythm of the bout and making the other other fighter adapt. With a subtle change in uh, the target of Das Marinas, it's all bodies, body shots now. Uh, and he's connected, I think, with about three out of six so far. He's gone down to the body, trying to uh, maybe slow down this uh, uh, French uh, fighter. You know what I'll be doing, Mike? I'll be telling them in the corner of Das Marinas, aim for the arms. Aim, you know, just, just throw them at chest and arms, because you, you hit that, you know, you just dull that speed. Yes, of Guerfi. Feel the left hand downstairs to the elbows and back in the elbows, Stop. the forearms, the Keep triceps. The tires and fighter over the, over 12 rounds as well. It's all runs in the back, particularly when you've got a very tight defense as the Frenchman has. That's why 
put them on, put them on so he can't, so you numb them. Good deep body shot there from worth it. Marinas, that's Marinas coming back though. Uh, this is really a surprise to me, Glenn, about uh, Berkey being the fight against Marinas. Yep. He's the one with the uh, very low KO to uh, knockout win ratio, as uh, Mike mentioned. But he's the one bringing the fight to the power puncher, Das Marinas. Yeah, but you know, you, you can do that because of, of his speed, because he can get his shots inside Das Marinas and, and, and hurt him. Das Marinas being the power puncher, he needs a, a bigger base. He has won a lot of fights on the basis of being very busy too, being right up in your face, and that can put you off. So Das Marinas is not going to have it his own way, nor should he. It is an IBO world title, a bantamweight title. But this is another one where the, the puncher Das Marinas has to take his balance into the trenches a little bit. But it's the opposite way around. It's worthy that looks like he wants to do that. Notice how Das Marinas is now moving to his left rather than his right, which means Guerfi has changed his natural pattern. He can be moving to his left. But right now he does look bigger. And uh, even if uh, Mike said that he is not a power puncher, he's been pushing back Das Marinas. He has, which is a surprise. Well, a lot of science now goes into the ability to wait that Griffey there you can see there's not a lot of fat on him so he would have dropped weight to make that 53 kilo division well, well also both both men you know i know have dropped weight and the two you know has one of them has das marinas maybe dropped too much weight it's very you know it's very technical but it's very important the weight making process of, of how your body feels when you actually come to fight time so if you get it wrong, it can completely sap you. Take away your power, take away your punch resistance, and most certainly take away your endurance as you head into the latter rounds. Take away your world title, as I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the busy uh, Frenchman just uh, attacking. Break! Any room to move, no room to set his rhythm and use those skills that he tends to show from the outside. I think Das Marinas is surprised by this, isn't he? I don't think he expected this sort of fight. I think he was going to have it more his own way. Yes. Well, das Marinas pulling it into the trenches. Once again, drifting to his left. In which case, it needs to move a lot wider and not short along the right because he will walk into the right hand. He's moving to his left and he circles wide, at least he can make the right hand miss. Brief pause in action. And the Frenchman, he's just on him. All non over him like a fat kid on a cupcake right now. <laughs> non stop punching by uh, Gorky. But that's Marinas, if you can uh, take a look at his eyes, his eyes are just focused on the chest and the abdomen of part of the, of the body of Gorky, and I think that's where they're going to go. A lot of body work from Das Marinas. He's he is doing what Glen McQuarrie suggested, banging away at the body, banging the elbows, the shoulders and the triceps. But uh, it's also hey, being returned in kind. That was a very low shot. A little bit of frustration coming into the work of Das Marinos. A body shot there by Das Marinos, very clean. Used the right hook to turn out nicely. He had some more room. Needs to do a lot more work with his right hand as well. Been very left hand focused so far. And as a southpaw, a lot of his effectiveness comes from that right hand, leading with the right hook there and landing the left hook. Left straight, rather. Good left foot to the head. Of and the ground for you. Good now, opponent please. who knows how to fight, who's been in the wars, and you have to be able to adjust. Mark. Bring something Round different. Well, the crowd, well lubricated ringside. And Griffey once again. Banging away to the body of Das Marinas is trying to shake some rhythm into his legs. Wide stance, looking for the opportunity to launch his power shots. Posturing, faking low, shoulder faking. Trying to get the Frenchman to buy in. Frenchman though, relentless in his punch output.
Dungeon Cotton. He walked into range. And there it was. The classic southpaw. Straight leg. And the Philippine who takes the world's track. Well, that was a bad knockout. We hope whoever is okay and gets attention very soon. Now we just look at it here. He's just, they're both just looking for the opportunity. He just pauses for one second. His, his hands weren't even low. He didn't expose himself that much. It was just a peach of a punch. 40 seconds into the fourth round, your winner via KO. From the Philippines, Michael, gloves on fire, Dustin. So just to put everything in perspective, gentlemen, number Murphy was ranked number four in the world, and Dustin was ranked number 12 by the WBC. And now he beats Murphy for the IBO Bantamweight World Title. What a performance by the Filipino.